Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another episode of Me in the Kitchen. So, uh, in this uh, episode, we are going to make several meals, and one of the meals, one of the meals that we are going to, to make is a very common dish in Central Kenya that is githeri. Githeri is a mixture of beans and and maize, or maybe uh, maize and peas. Uh, like for mine, we are going to use githeri made from beans, not beans, maize and peas. Uh, the other things that we are going to use is potatoes. We are going to use to need carrots, onion, tomatoes. Uh, this is yellow, uh, not yellow, red pepper and some oil. This is our sufuria. I'm going to heat it and then add the oil and then we proceed. Our kitungu is almost uh, ready or cooked, so we are going to add in our nyanya. Some, add some salt. Uh, I'm going to cover this for a few minutes and then add the carrot. I'm going to add in the carrots and the hoho together and wait until they are ready or cooked. We serve it. Cover for a few minutes and then we'll be back when they, when they are cooked. I already added the pot the potatoes and let them cook for three minutes. So I'm going to go in with our gizeri. And then start this. I'll cover this for two to three minutes and then come back, add some water, let it boil, and I'll be done. Yes. So I'm coming. So I'm back. I'm going to start this and then add the water and then wait. For the for the meat to boil, that is enough. We add a little more. We cover this and then add back when the food is ready. This is the progress and I'm sure it's, it's done. So we are going to serve it and then eat. <coughs> so that is the meal. That's how our githeri turned out. Please try out and then let us know in the comment section how, how you was turned out and served mine with some avocado and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's definitely the next morning, and I'm about to make breakfast. These are carrots. I'm going to boil them and then fry them. So stick around, watch, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And
And this is our final our final result I'm a product this is how they turned out I'm going to serve this with tea this is my breakfast for today please guys try out this recipe and tell us how you are turned out hey guys I'm about to make some meat stew so whatever is cooking right now is the onions I've used uh, one red onion and some spring onion, so that is what is cooking right now. I'll add some dania stem, stir, then add our garlic stir add uh, our Bell peppers. I've used one, not one. It's a quarter, a quarter of red bell pepper. I'll start this. let this cook for one to two minutes add the tomatoes and then we proceed from there uh, one to two minutes are over so we go in with the tomatoes we start with I'll cover this for until the nyanyas are well cooked, then add some spices.
for the spices that I'm going to use today, we have turmeric, not so much, ginger powder, and some biscuits, Marocco kids. Add a little water to cook the spices. That is nice. Okay. I'll go in with some potatoes, not too much. Let this steam up for about two to three minutes, then add the the mint meat. I forgot to add the salt. I'll not add too much of it because while boiling the mint meat, I added some. So we add that amount. And then go in the next We mix everything together so that the meat meat can absorb the spices and the oil and the onions. Cover for one to three minutes and then add some water, let it boil and we'll be done. We go in with enough water, not too much, and we enough. That is enough. You can check whether the food has enough salt at this point. So that you find out if you need to add or not. So, we wait for that to boil and then come back. So, our stew is ready. Turn off the heat. Garnish with some dania, dania leaves. That is enough. Cover for one to two minutes and then serve. So guys, our food is ready and we are about to take it. That is our minced meat. That is how it turned out. You can serve this stew with rice, chapati, mokimo, or anything you are comfortable with. So, for me, I'm going to take it with this chapati. So, guys, that is for this episode of Me in the Kitchen. 
if you love the video if you enjoyed it please do not forget to subscribe share comment and like the video comment down below and let us know your thoughts in the comment section until next time bye bye guys